it. If you mastered this yourself, that's that's really really impressive. <laughs> I was looking for something, something new And the only thing missing, missing was you So also it appears that he's not only is he changing clothes for variety, but I think he's he's also changing clothes for grouping. So I feel like even the instruments are grouped by his attire, which is which is not only you know clever for how it looks, but it's really helpful for when you're editing if you know that when you're wearing a certain shirt, you're doing a certain job. So I feel like we've got this higher thing going on with the white shirts. Um, and I feel like with the hats. And with the covering, we're kind of more in the drum and bass zone. And sorry, black shirts and purple shirts, I don't I don't remember. Uh, maybe the purple shirts are higher pitched percussion, not low percussion. Maybe, I don't know. I'm not I'm reaching, I don't want to be reaching. Yeah, I do believe that. I'm not sure if my delineation is correct, but I think he's using the hat and the hoodie and the purple shirt to be differences in percussion and bass. He's like differentiating the bass sections, which I was wondering if maybe he labeled everything at the bottom of the video uh, of each clip and then chopped it out for the final production. Cause I'm like, how do you keep track of where everything is? You can take notes or whatever, but you want to make it as easy as possible. So changing it visually so you know which part you're doing, that could be really helpful in actually editing and, and I'm assuming he didn't mix in the same software you edited with. Huh. Well, I guess you could keep track and then cut. You can you could mix all your music somewhere else, bring it into the video editor, and then just know where to cut based on the the outfit you're wearing. I wonder if that's his workflow. This is my first guess. It's probably not right. It's my first guess. Not you, cat. <laughs> I said it earlier, I'll say it one more time. I'm not even sure if I like that song, but that performance is great. That, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, and as a performance, that's all you want is people just stare and go blah, 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 blah. Oh, what? oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Um, I think the most commonplace I've experienced this is going to big, you know, symphonic things you know big orchestra and you're there and you're like this is this is overwhelmingly amazing it's just this gigantic sound coming at you and then you go look it up like oh what were we listening to oh it was uh we just went and saw tchaikovsky you know sibelius or something and then you look it up you put on your headphones and you're like no nah, that's not that's not cool that's not that's that's what i was hearing but did no, this is not, this is not good. When you're, when you're there, you're like, this is the shit. I feel like maybe this performance is like that. Like, if I go listen to the actual song, I'll be like, I don't know, I don't know. Mixing, mastering, arrangement, execution, just fantastic.
I am I'm on, I'm in a win win situation right here. If it turns out he paid someone to mix and master, I would say that makes complete sense because that is a professional job and that's amazing. If it turns out he mixed and mastered it himself, then I have more hope for myself as someone who mixes at home and going, well, shit, if he can sound that good uh, and he's not a pro, then I could, maybe I could do that. So either way it goes, exceptionally, exceptionally awesome product. Not just performance, but the entire output Really, just really great. Maybe this is going to be one of those guys that it, it kind of starts challenging things, right? If he starts putting out shit, I don't know how many, if he's got a lot of things like this, but if he ends up putting out stuff on a regular basis that's that, it's really going to kind of put some other people in some holes and go, hey, man, I'm like, are you going to do this or not? If he ends up with 15, 20 videos like that in a pretty short time span, where's my hands at? In a pretty, pretty short time span, that'll really put the pressure on people. You do it once or so occasionally, then people are like, yeah, that was crazy dope, but thank God he's not doing it all the time. Not that it's a competition, but what is it? Steel sharpens steel. Oh, whatever, whatever the phrase is. So when people in your craft start doing amazing things regularly, like every week they're doing something, you're like, come on. Every week you go and do it, every week, then you're kind of forced to up your game or change your game. Very, very wicked. Not as wicked as my cat being a complete fucking terrorist over here. That was awesome.